I'm at a gypsy. Can you understand Stark's position though? Oh, as, of course as I do. As to why, like, and I, I don't know that many people, like I understand this. I'm friends with the, the guys in the same way that you are. But I don't think many people have kind of thought about Stark's position as to like why they want to race so bad. Like the, uh, the MXGP, I was actually with Anton when the GPs put out their announcement of the class uh -huh. uh, and he had no idea. He was not they had, they yeah. had They had no idea. I, I, I know, but, but so I understand Stark's position just as I understood Alta's. But I also understand the, the pushback the the, the yes. wait a second yes because because you know again we have ten manufacturers now you know, will be ten when when Ducati's here uh, and and you could count Cobra you know as far as amateur racing goes everyone has made this fifty more than fifty year investment in this sport in this series in this industry mm -hmm. and, and and they do it with motorcycles that are two stroke engine and then a later four stroke engine. Uh, you know, they, 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 we have these teams, we have these rigs, we, they, they, they like an even playing field because they like to compete. Yeah. So where do you put an electric bike on this even playing field? Um, because it, you could very then easily, you're looking at the definition of what is even. Right. So, so, you know, and, and, and they're doing as many proactive things as they can, um, you know, they're, they're explaining how they can, they can lock the motor on a certain mode and you can't change it for 72 hours. And that means it's going to run like a 250 and, or we can do it like a 450 and I, and, and that's great. That's, that's, but what about the next company that comes and builds an electric bike? And let's say that company's, you know, not as, as cooperative as the Swede slash Spanish brand of Stark is. What if it's a Chinese brand and they just don't care and it's, Four thousand dollars cheaper, and it goes faster, and there's no way to monitor it. We we just don't know what it is. What do you do about that guy? Well, I just you don't let them in. Yeah. So so the thing is, and, and Mike Pelletier from the AMA was one who really, you know, brought this concept up to Anton when we had this big meeting with AMA, AMA Pro Racing, Supercross, Motocross, everyone at Daytona. He said we need to build a box, and that box needs to be what is an electric bike where does it fit how does it work where how fast does it go how fast can it go where does it best fit and we need to do it in a way that is not offensive to all of the people who put all this equity and all this investment over the last five or six decades into the sport because i believe in the right hands a stark could win immediately uh, and I think a triumph could win immediately, but the difference is a triumph is a two or is a two fifty cc motorcycle with a four stroke engine, and that's exactly what it's racing against. And with an electric bike, it's not a two fifty cc, and it's not a four fifty, and it's this third thing, this other thing. And until we have more of them. And until we have a place for them, we need to build the box. We need to figure out what, how it fits, where it belongs. But I don't think at this moment or anytime soon that it belongs on the starting gate next to uh, Chase's KTM or, or Jet's Honda or Jason Anderson's Kawasaki or any of the bikes that we have right now. It's a different thing. And, and, and that's, that's, you know... I'm all ears on anyone who has any ideas of where it might belong, but I know from riding one, often it's different, and man, is it fun. Yeah. Yeah, no, uh, and I agree with a lot of what you said. I, uh, I think understanding Stark's position and just to, I guess, let the listeners know like what their, their position is, is that they, are try they, they already think they are the best – electric dirt bike and it's and, like and so it's like well what's the well, there's no point in like how do we like what we're selling against in terms of like a retail market is our competition for sales are a 450 or a 250 or yes it's a different thing but like this is the pool that we're trying to essentially like pull from mm -hmm. and so their point is is like how do we prove that we're worth buying how do we prove that we're the best how can we back up 
the claims that we're selling against if we don't have a chance to uh, prove that. So, like, I'm just trying to say that's their yeah. side I, of I, that. I, I, I get that. And, and the, the fact that that electric car won the Indiana, Indianapolis 500 yesterday, it's just crazy. But that didn't happen mm. because they didn't let an electric car in the Indianapolis 500 because – that's not what they race. Yeah. And that's kind of where we are. Yeah. And, 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 I, and I understand and, that and position we, as well. I, you know, we, we, we want to grow. We want to evolve. We want to, uh, but, but, but we can't destroy the foundation of the box that's already here. Yeah. Of, of the sport that's already here. <clears throat> what, what it, 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 at the bottom, or, or not the bottom, let's say, at the end of the horizon, it's bright. Because the idea that we can have electric bikes is awesome. We were promised jetpacks too. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but the fact that that you know that that I'm pumped on a stock for now. Yeah, yeah, but that gives us a lot of that gives us a lot of a bright future. Yeah, you know, no matter what happens to the world and 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 you know internal combustion engines or whatever. But 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 that future's not here yet. Yeah, it's coming, uh, and I know they're in a hurry. To show just as Alta was, yeah. And but but at least the difference now is I think that this is a better product, and they have a better strategy of how to integrate it, uh, how to how and to a, and a very solid leadership group, yeah, with yeah, a lot of experience in our world, yeah. And and uh, but the same can be said for Ducati and Triumph, uh, but they're not building electric bikes, yeah. They're building two fifties and four fifties. If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. And to listen to the full three-hour podcast, search Gypsy Tales in your favorite podcast platform or click the link in the description below. Gypsy Gang.